Well, it would be a big shot in the arm. But they got a long way to go and not much time. Or 10, depending on how things shake out. Nathan Jones. Ball is loose, but it's going to be recovered by North Hall, but that's going to eat up the clock. Santa Bria putting a lot of pressure. Looks like um, Trevor Ross recovered, and that'll do it. Here we see the play. This will end the half now. Well, he loses around. it, but it doesn't really make that much difference because the time ran out. There's Santa Bria with that pressure. His own and man off. banged into him there, 57. And it is number five, Ross, who recovers it as the half expires. It's 28-12. Standing by on the field with Coach Bruce Miller of the Gainesville Red Elephants, our Gina Gailey. Coach, content with that first half or any halftime adjustments? Oh, we got to make a lot of adjustments. We've got to get them slowed down and uh, – uh, we get the kickoff right. Here. We get to, we get the kickoff return right here at the start of the second half, and we gotta we gotta do something with it. They're really playing tough. Thank you, Coach. Coach Miller sounds like they might have missed some opportunities. Well, they did miss a field goal in the first half, Weaver. Right. Uh, I don't think you'd have played that much better. Uh, I saw a few minor mistakes, but you're playing a good football team. That's right. Let's very quickly recap the scoring for you. Gainesville actually jumped out to a 14-0 lead very quickly on a 55-yard fumble recovery by Tyler Jones. And then Blake Sims hit TJ for a pass of about 39 yards. Reed Almond was good on both PATs, 14-0. And then the Jones from North Hall, their version of Jones, Nathan Jones, hit Ben Booth with a 15-yard pass. The PAT was missed. It was 14-6 at that point. And then at the very end of the first period, with no time on the clock, it was Sims to Dante Carr for a pass, a touchdown pass. Almond again good on the PAT. And then North Hall responded with a one-yard run by Robert Humphrey. They tried to run for the PAT, 21-12 at that point, still at the games on top. And then with 227 left in the half, it was Sims on a one-yard quarterback sneak. William, only time we saw him going to the center of the whole first half. Right. Snuck it in. Almond was good again on the PAT. He was four for four. 28-12 games, that's where we stand at halftime. Well, and the statistics are surprisingly close. Not that much difference in yardage. North Hall has seven first downs, 26 rushes for 110 yards. Jordan Chafin, two for four. Dar Darian Roman, three for six. Robert Humphrey, seven for 22 and a touchdown. That one had to have felt good. Peyton Wilhoit, four for 10. Nathan Jones, six for 49. Randy Olson, one for five. Mac Van Gorder, two for 10. Ben Booth, one for four. Passing, about, that's rushing. Running back by committee. <laughs> oh, it is. I mean, that's a bunch of them going after it. Passing, Nathan Jones was five of seven for 71 yards and a touchdown. That's 181 yards in offense there for North Hall. Four penalties for 55 yards. Two fumbles, and they lost one. For Gainesville, 10 first downs. 55 yards rushing on 18 carries and a touchdown. To Ryan Rucker, 10 of 43. Tyson Smith, 2 for 2. Desmond Hamilton, 1 for 1. Blake Sims, 5 for 9. And got that touchdown there. Mm. Uh, passing Blake Sims, 10 of 13 for 132 and two touchdowns. Tyler Jones had 6 for 81 yards and a touchdown. Desmond Hamilton, 1 for 5. Michael Lawrence, one for six. Dante Carr, one for 35 in the touchdown. Darius Tanner, one for five. That's 187 yards. North Hall had 181. It's only six yards difference in offenses. Two penalties for 10 yards, and they lost a fumble. Well, we talk about the Gainesville offense, but you got to look at that Gainesville defense. They only gave up 12 points to a pretty good North Hall team. Right, and that's the difference probably in the game right there is, is the uh, defense there of Gainesville being able to hold North Hall out. So even though the, the yardage is similar, the score is on the uh, Gainesville side. All right, 28-12, that's where we stand, but we got another whole half of football to come your way. It was entertaining in the first half, and we expect more of the same in the second half. You're watching the Hall County Sports Television Game of the Week. Hi folks, Bruce Miller from Milton Martin Honda in Gainesville. I've got an important message for our friends here in Northeast Georgia. Smart consumers know that right now, the end of the model year is the very best time to buy a new car. And that goes for smart car dealers too. We just bought 124 brand new 2009 Hondas at a fantastic price. And folks, we're passing those savings on to you because we gotta make room for 2010s. So folks, if you think you can get a better deal on a better car at Milton Martin Honda in Gainesville, you got that right. School Tools and Office Pros is now your free fundraising location opportunity. Bring your church group, athletic team, booster club, host your 5K runs, do a bake sale. 
car washes, yard sales. Take advantage of our huge three acre lot off Browns Bridge Road. It's another reason why Office Pros is unbelievable. School Tools and Office Pros, family owned, community minded. Tonight's game is brought to you by Lion's Den, a full-service family hair salon. Walk-ins are welcome. Rucksack Military Surplus, a complete line of law enforcement and military items is available at Rucksack Military Surplus. Coach Chuck Clausen has been selling real estate in North Georgia since 1992. Prior to that, Chuck coached in the National Football League for 17 seasons. Wishing all our players a great football season and by North Georgia Productions, experts in the field of video service, always in support of the youth of Hall County. If you'd like a copy of tonight's game, call 770-297-0528 or log on to hallcountysportstv.com. Shane Doster has got it teed up now for the Trojans who will be on defense. They're kicking it away to that high-powered Gainesville offense. The Elephants lead by 16. Tyler Jones is back there deep to receive, and I think that's Terion Rucker back there with him. Doster, high kick. Short. Jones takes it. He's got a little crease. Yeah, look at that. Chase down from behind. By number five, Trevor Ross. So the Elephants will bring all that offense to bear once again. They put it in play at their 34. Trips wide to the right, another man wide to the left. Rucker, Lawrence, and uh, Jones out there wide to the right. Now Rucker in motion. Blake Sims in the shotgun where he stays most of the time except in very short yardage situations and he hands it off to Rucker. They took a long time then. I don't know if they just told him to take his time or, or whether or not this is going to be something we're going to see. They've got, got a reasonably comfortable lead. Flanagan in on that stop. Over there on the far side, along with Van Gorder, who's playing some defense now. Mac Van Gorder, whose daddy who used to coach for the Georgia Bulldogs, now coaches for the Atlanta Falcons. The defensive coordinator for the Falcons. Yep. Sims to Tyler Jones, middle of the field. Still on his feet, shucks one tackler. Nathan Jones finally drags him down. The acts of the field caused the fumble, so. That would have been all right. 30 yards. Down to the 34. Man, that's just smooth. Look at that. Boom. Jumps up there, catches it. Gets away from Roman down. right there. Now to Ryan Rucker. Got a crease. He's gone. Touchdown to Ryan Rucker. Touchdown, Gainesville. It's 34 to 12. 